All right, so we'll just take a few minutes to wait for anyone else that has to join and then we'll get started. All right, so welcome to the Hack the Pulse 2022 closing ceremony. So before we begin, we would like to acknowledge that our team is gathered on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the Coast Salish people, including the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. So firstly, we want to thank you all for attending XX Mini Vancouver's Hack the Pulse 2022. We hope that you all had a blast. Even if you did not win a prize or do not win a prize today, we hope you gained something valuable from this experience. For our first time hackers, we truly hope that this event inspired you to explore more of the amazing world of technology. And um, we'd also like to thank our sponsors for Hack the Pulse 2022. Um, these include um, .xyz, um, um, Echo 3D, Cascade, Leading er Learners, The Knowledge Society, and um, the Script Foundation. In addition to um, taking it global um, as part of Rising Youth um, for one of our grants, um, as they generously supported our project. And for anyone else who is interested in starting or building a community project that is funded by the Government of Canada, you are encouraged to apply. And you can learn more about Rising Youth Grants and apply for your own youth-led project at www.risingyouth.ca or get in touch with Victor at victor at xdhacks.com. We'd like to thank our speakers, Alvin Young, Annie Martin, Dr. Brian Fraser, Wong and Jeff, and Chilia Bagayana for taking the time to teach our participants some valuable skills and advice needed to help them throughout their adventure as a hacker. And now I want to introduce our closing speaker, Victor Zhang. He was the formal, former director of XC Hacks Mini Vancouver and is the current XC Hacks Mini Global Core Team Round Coordinator. Please welcome our special guest, Victor Zhang. All right, hello everyone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so hopefully all of you are having are still awake, I mean, uh, after all the events this past weekend. So I'm Victor, as Emily said, I'm the Chief Round Coordinator of XX Mini uh, Global Core Team, and I was the former Executive Director of XX Mini Vancouver um, last year. So firstly, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of um, your busy school schedules to attend our event, and as it really can't happen without you. I also want to give a big thank you to all of the guest speakers, sponsors, judges, mentors, and especially the XCX Mini Vancouver team led by Simran. They are just like any of you having to juggle a busy high school schedule with organizing an event of this magnitude. Some of them might even be younger than you, so please give a big shout out to them. So today I'd like to briefly talk about XCX Mini and its mission. So first I'd like to talk about my story at XCX Mini. So back in 2020, I participated at XCX Mini COVID, which is probably one of the best decisions in my life. After participating in the event, I was amazed by the ability for high schoolers, like myself back then, to pull off such an event. I knew that I wanted to be a part of the XCX Mini movement. From there on, I haven't looked back. From organizing speakers, sponsors, judges, events, and so much more, there's lots to learn and grow within the XCX Mini community. I went from activity director to executive director to now the round coordinator, which I think is a testament to the growth of XCX Mini over the years. Not only is XCX Mini's mission to run hackathons, but our mission also entails teaching students how to organize one. XCX Mini is a global high school hackathon organization started here in Vancouver back in 2019. We're a completely youth-led organization with high schoolers making on-the-ground decisions, as you see this past weekend, um, in organizing an event directly solely by themselves. So all the, their ideas were their own. Um, so the core team at XCX Mini provides the mentorship and guidance that helps our high schoolers bring their ideas to life. And as you can see in the slide, we have a 
very diverse range of youth on the core team. I hope that my story at of XCX Mini inspires you to take up the movement and join us in our mission of inspiring more youth in STEM. If you believe you have the passion and are motivated to make an impact in your community, then we're willing to help you achieve that dream. This year, XCX Mini is already in eight different cities and we hope to continue expanding. You can see that we're in Vancouver, Toronto, Windsor, Miami, New York, Kolkata, LA, and Taiwan. And in light of these additions to our 2022 season, we wanna invite all of you interested to consider joining our team. Whether you wanna start around in your own city, which we haven't had the pleasure of hosting it yet, or join one of our existing rounds, don't hesitate to reach out. And in this last slide, you can see the people behind each of our rounds. And I'm personally proud of the work that each and every one of our members puts in. To close it off, I encourage you all to get involved in technology and STEM. I hope you continue to pursue your passions, whether that is by learning a new language, creating your own website, starting a coding club at your school, or joining one of our organizing teams. It's, it's well within your reach. Once again, thank you for attending our first event of 2022. And I know this doesn't work for online events, but please give a round of applause to everyone involved in making this event happen. I hope to see you all at our events this year and maybe even on the on the team. Um, thanks for having me, guys. Thank you, Victor. Now, before we give out the prizes, I just want to give a shout out to everyone who participated. Okay, this is activities prizes. I want to give out to, a shout out to everyone who participated in our activities because it was really fun playing games with all of you guys. So. The first place will be receiving a $20 Amazon gift card. Second place is a $50 Amazon gift card. And third place is a $5 Amazon gift card. So for the activity winners, first place is Jerry Yao. Second place is August Lee. And third place is Samayida Maitra. So uh, congratulations, everyone. There will be a forms link sent to the Discord announcement. So look out there to put your information in. And I will send the gift certificate through email. Um, now we can move on to the winners. So here are the winners of Hack the Pulse. And before we begin, we would like to congratulate all teams for completing their hacks and performing really well. Whether you won or lost, we hope you took something out of our event. Whether it was from the speakers, the activities, the workshops, or the hacking itself, we hope you found a passion in the field of STEM. Our team was amazed at the wonderful projects that you all created. Please note that although we may announce the winners right now, we may rescind winners if winners are found guilty of violating Hack the Pulse rules. We will be sending a document right after the event that details the steps to claim your prize. So in third place, congratulations to Team Kai by Artium. Kai is a virtual healthcare companion that helps patients around the globe with their healthcare needs. Kai can book appointments with the patient's doctor, help the patient with health problems they're facing, and also provides patients with information about their problems. It sends patients emails about what steps they can take to prevent healthcare problems. All right, um, in second place, we have Mutation Seeker with um, team members, Andrew and William. Uh, congratulations. And next we'll announce the first place winner, which was the team Hospice Chain with the team members, Ching, Sophia, and Akon. Congratulations once again. Make sure to follow our social medias to stay updated on future events and volunteer opportunities. The winners of Hack the Pulse will be emailed with the details of prizes and certificates. We'll also have a post-event survey, so make sure to fill that out and be, to become, because it'll help with our future events. And if you're interested in volunteering at XCX Mini, an interest form will be sent out after this event. And with that marks the end of our closing ceremony. Once again, a huge thank you to everyone that made our event possible. And we hope to see you again in the future. So thank you. <laughs>